Well, after a recent rash of military aviation mishaps, lawmakers want to know what's being done. One of the issues is going to pop up during the hearing is when is the Navy going to retire the C-2 Greyhound transport plane? 13 News Now military reporter Mike Gooding is here with those details. Mike. Well, David and Aaron, the C-2 COD, as it's called, dates all the way back to 1964. Even the most recent C-2s came out in 1990, 28 years ago. House Armed Services Committee members want to know how much longer till the COD is done. From fiscal years 2013 to 2017, non-combat aviation mishaps rose 40 percent, resulting in the loss of life of more than 130 service members. It is my fervent belief that the services must do everything possible to ensure the safety of flight. One of the deadly incidents came last November when a Navy C-2A Greyhound Cod with 11 people on board crashed into the Philippine Sea southeast of Okinawa. Eight personnel were recovered, but three air crewmen died. The plan is, starting in 2021, to replace the Greyhound with CMV-22 Ospreys, completing the transition by 2024. Members of the House Sea Power and Projection Forces Subcommittee wanted to know if that's fast enough. The Director of Air Warfare for the Office of the Chief of Naval Operations Rear Admiral Scott Kahn said when it comes to the V-22, the Navy is doing its best. There is no means by which I can accelerate that any further. When you look at the MILCON, the training that's required for our sailors to operate, maintain, and the air crew that have to fly and get the hours they need, we're as going as fast as we can go. And about that C-2, the crash last November, Rear Admiral Khan said it is underneath 18,000 feet of water in the Philippine Sea. And because that part of the world is at the height of its typhoon season, it will probably be next spring or early summer before the Navy can recover the aircraft. Reporting live, Mike Gooding, 13 News Now.